AncestryDNA.com um, every now and then just to check if I have any new matches or if uh, my DNA has updated. Uh, every now and then they find like a new ethnic group or uh, they get DNA that specifies more where you're from. My DNA hasn't changed. I'm still about 95% from the British Isles. Um, so I was like, whatever. But they had a questionnaire on there. So I did the questionnaire. I was bored. Um, and I was going through the questionnaire with my husband, and it asked me two really strange questions. Questions I haven't even thought about, and questions I have never been asked before. And the two questions, the first one, which will be on the screen, do you like to eat food that is associated with your ethnicity? So, food that's primarily from the British Isles, Ireland, Wales, Scotland, um, England. And that's such an odd question, because, I don't know, as an American, I primarily like food I associate myself with is American food or Americanized food. Um, so I had to look it up online. What the heck is British food or food from the British Isles? And I think the answer is relatively yes, but it's not my favorite. And it's such an odd question because if you're ethnically from a certain place in the world, are you like supposed to like it genetically? I don't know. That seems weird. No, British food is not my favorite food, but I do like it. I don't know. And then the next question after that was just as weird. I've never been asked this either. Uh, do you like music that is associated with your ethnicity? Uh, Celtic music. Yes, I do like Celtic music. Um, British music, uh, whether that be new or older British music. Uh, yes, I do like that. Uh, music from Ireland, I do like that. Um, again, it's not my favorite, and it's not my first choice, um, but I do like it. Um, but those questions are just so odd, and I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm like, what would you, how would you even know that? Like, especially if you're somebody like my husband, like if my husband got like 45% Nigerian, um, first of all, my husband's never going to try any food from Africa. Let's just get that right, because he only eats American food unless I force him to eat something else. Um, but how would you, like, how would you even know? Especially if you got somewhere crazy or something that you've never even experienced. Like, how do you know if you like the food of your ethnicity? I don't know. It just seems really off the wall question and like the f music of your people. I don't know. My people, I'm from America. I mean, I may be European, but I associate my identity and my food and my culture and everything with America, because I'm an American. I, I don't know, when I think of like who I am, I think of my life and my family and everything I have here in North America. Um, so I don't usually associate a whole lot with Europe. I don't know, it seems, it seems strange, because my husband feels the same way, and my husband has no association, has no mindset that he's partially from Africa. Um, same thing, I, we're both in this boat, like, or, or, are you supposed to? I don't know. It seems crazy, but I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you enjoy these weird questions. Have a good day.